Good evening, everyone. And tonight, we are going to take a look at a video similar to how Scribelite takes a look at the education every Sunday morning. Now, it took Scribe four streams to get through a two hour stream or two hour video. So let's see how long it takes me to get to this one minute, 40 minute video or stream or whatever it is. So this comes from actual Jake. I've seen this guy before. Very pseudo intellectual. And according to Ranting Monkey, he was on Bible Reloaded. So he had a bit of recognition before going by actual Jake. And I posted the link in the chat if you want to take a look at it or whatever. Um, Real tough. What faces? Uh, yeah. So basically, we're just gonna. Oh, he sounds a lot different from what I expected. This is actually my first time hearing his voice. Can't start. I think. I think there's 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 nothing. I, I we can't delay it any longer. Okay. It, it's undoomed. If you've not been aware of undoomed in the past, I know who undoomed is. He occasionally streams. Or he, he occasionally joins Scribe and Sansu on Lords of the Night and sometimes joins Monkey on Monkey of the Morning. This guy doesn't like me, which... I don't, I don't like you either. I mean, just look at how smug you look. Why should anyone like you? <laughs> Actually, no, that was what we made to say. Because I don't like him more. Um, uh, this is one of those childish this really competitions. artificially huh? deep voice. Uh, uh, and even if it's not artificial, he's like clearly doing a thing. It's like down here. You'll you'll see. It's it's, it's I can't do it justice. Um, Silent Pete, thanks for the twenty nine months. Some people like this shit, uh, like like the sound of it. I don't. I can't stand it. I think he's awful. And uh, he's not funny. He tries to be. He's sometimes pretty gross about shit. Uh, he'll make like sex jokes. I, yeah, sex jokes know. are common. He's just gross. Um. Uh, the production value is uh, a little bit higher than your standard chud, so that's that's at least from a visual standpoint. Um, but he is in the year of our Lord 2021, still doing anti SJW content. This particular one is called. How dare he do SJW stuff in current year? You know what's funny is that the people who say this are always the ones who perpetuate social justice nonsense anyway. Yeah, um, throughout the 2020, uh, or yeah, throughout 2020, people were saying stuff like, check your privilege, uh, saying I don't want to get political is privilege that black people don't have. All of that came after, the whole concept of privilege was returning because of stuff like Floyd. Plus, your side attacks Christians because... Oh, LGBT is not a sin. The, your side still says that in 2021, even though that's been overdone. Or yeah, yeah that, that whole, you guys are still living like it's 1985. 1995. You guys are still mentioning slavery and Jim Crow. You guys are still mentioning women's rights. So I think... So even if Undoomed was still living in 2016, that is still more modern than you choose to live in. Race theory in practice. <coughs> he buys so much fucking B-roll. Um, he's an incredible big boomer. There might be house clips in here from the old TV show. Ah. Ooh, he's a boomer. All I have to do is say boomer and I win. God, no wonder he doesn't like you. 
Yeah, Boomer is the new SJW, one of the new SJW insults. Boomer, reactionary, grifter. Yeah, they have such limited insults. And uh, to them, Boomer, reactionary, and grifter are all just synonyms for conservative. House. Um, yeah, if you don't know your undoomed lore, he's also faceless and stupid. Anyway, uh, so this is him bitching about... Faceless. I take it back what I said at the beginning. Why should anyone like you? Given how much... So far, this has only been an attack on his... On him, and not his arguments. So I take it back when I said, uh, why would anyone like you? That wasn't rude compared to how you're acting now. And I only said that I was being rude because I just... I'd rather attack the point and not the person. Critical race theory, which is probably not actually critical race theory. It's probably just not being racist book. You know? Uh, you have to be racist to believe in critical race theory. There are parents who... Parents of all diverse races, colors, ethnicities who complained about critical race theory. Because critical... You want to talk about still living in the past. Critical race theory is basically... Well, I was going to say, yeah, it is race realism. However, it's also the same mindset that... Or, yeah, just pro-segregationists had. You know, how's the channel doing view-wise? This came out an hour ago, or an hour, two hours ago, almost. Hour I should have streamed an hour after this video came out, great. or after he posted this. Um, especially for a channel that has 272,000 subscribers. But, you know, like, most people are just fucking tired of his dumb, dumb shit, right? So. I'm already tired of your... Yeah, he's not a very bright guy. Uh, anyway, so he... Take a shot for every time he throws an insult or ad hominem at him. God, and you say he's not smart. Something doomed. Uh, he is a he is a boomer. Again, calling him a I'm boomer. So oh, he's a boomer because boomer and conservative are the only are the biggest synonyms in the world. <laughs> Actual Jake is a boomer. He's a grifter. He's a reactionary, and he's a boomer. He's also a chud. All I have to do is say boomer and I win. Shut up. Sydney. And today I'm going to be reading a kid's book about white privilege by Ben. He's going to say something super shitty right off the top. You mean like you just did? Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Hang on. And unfortunately, I didn't keep track of where I was. Channeled it. So he, he's going to say something super shitty right off the top. This is this is his thing. Wow, I didn't know we were dealing with fucking dumbasses or something stupid like that. And sand. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, so you see... That you, you just under that oh dear lord that's like literally the 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 level of bants we're dealing with. Oh. oh, I mean you threw insults at him. You called him a boomer twice, and you were like pretty much calling him dumb up until this point of the video. I don't think you. I don't think you want to talk. Oh dear lord, really? That's that's what your stinger was for this video. Your stinger was throwing insults. Hey everyone, and welcome back. Ugh. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Shut up, Jake. Well, up, Jake. such is life. Day jobs take precedence. Day jobs take precedence? Was that intentional? Is he going to make a shitty joke here? Was that intentional? Anyway, I hope you've had a nice time nope. and that you're ready for a video. 
I figured we'd have a look at a woman who reads critical race theory to children. You know, to see how CRT is applied in practice. Maybe we can understand them a little better, or maybe we can just have a few laughs. We'll see. Silent P, thanks for the 29 months, dude. Uh, Nikki Bushy, pee pee, thanks for the biddies. Uh, you never did get. Uh, oh, damn it! How am I gonna How am I gonna get the big too. bucks of pictures? There's lots of picture frames in these. A lot of lore happening right now. When the holy hell is this chud ASMR? Yeah. Take a shot for every time he says. Yeah. It is I what it is. Gonna say chud it's, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but before all, let me tell you about this video, sir. Can you have a sponsor? I don't fucking want to listen. Check out my t-shirt store. Oh, just me. Never mind. Or I just added three new designs. Link will be in the description. So, get your popcorn, tap in. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's going to be a Enjoy. bumpy. The energy on these videos is so weird. Like, did I try to light a pit frame on fire? That sounds like me. That sounds like a thing I might do. I'm stupid. Don't like no one been watching my stream anyway. Frames on fire in your house. I'm trying to see if I have any sort of prop at all that'll help me with this. It won't. We're 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 just yeah. We got nothing. We got nothing. Uh, I think I think in honor of of uncombed here. Uncombed. I think in honor of uncombed. What I'm gonna have to do here is just because he's you know. That is a lazy the, uh, insult. He's got the fullest balls. Of any chud ever. Um, Third time uh, you said chud. Uh, I think I think we'll we'll have to honor him with a little bit of decoration, um, just for uh, you know, just for the the coom brand. Um, so this is this is this. You know, it kind of sounds like he's saying corn. the Cecilor. Uh That's a corn cake right there. So, so yeah, we'll just be we'll just be wearing we'll just be wearing the coom corn in honor of uncombed. That's just such a Not everyone insult. is a sex haver, Jake. No, this guy thinks he, he wants to be a sex haver, though. Um, I hate to admit it, but I used to be such a big fan of Undoomed about five to six years ago. Looking back, I'm ashamed of it. But thanks to you and other leftists, I saw how bad he was. That's okay, Darth Hayes. We all make bad decisions. He's he's dumb. He's not a oh, my God. You already got one of those cringy Gen Zers. Oh, I used to be NTSJW, and now I'm SJW communist Marxist. God, that is one of the... That is one of the most important reasons, or no, that is one of the, yeah, the, one of the highlighting factors as to why I absolutely hate Gen Z. I bet you're going to get a lot of, ah, monkey's about to stream. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to continue this. I don't even know how long I'm going to go on for. See how much stupid uh, actual Jake says, and then I don't even because yeah I don't know how much I'm gonna take a look at. A good guy, he's not funny. Um, Neither are you, Jake. Back to 2014. Well, we are. Here we go. This kids book series is my <sighs> 14 though. Such lazy. Yeah, that is really lazy. Saying you still at 16. Hey, useless rebel. <laughs> I don't think anyone is going to watch me because I got in chat. I thought I was shadow banned or something. Because. Alright, I'm going to pull up a few of my streams uh, that I just recently did. So, the stream that I did last Monday uh, on Scribe's interaction, on Scribe and Buckley's interaction and views, which is normal, then I did three, or no, two of Buckley's videos, the Silly Bridge Suicide Squad, I did that one only got reviews, live views, or I should say in total, uh, Buckley's 2021 Olympic recap, that only got three views in total, too. 
So, yeah, I, I just, I'm not giving up. It's just I didn't think anyone else was going to watch uh, or that I was shadow banned or something. I don't know. I don't show myself either. That probably, well, that'll probably help. All time favorite series because it's a great way to start a conversation about topics such as white privilege. As we'll see once he opens the book, this book is for six year olds. Is oh, there no. truly no room left anymore for kids to just be kids? Well, I don't think I don't think teach to hate people is like an anti kid act. CRT teaches kids to hate people. Activity. <laughs> I, like, 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 isn't part of, isn't literally part of, and this guy probably doesn't have kids, I don't either, but I've taken care of kids and I'm cool to go to, to be a teacher. Um, I would not trust you with any kid. I'm pretty sure most of raising children is teaching them not to be shitty people before they're people. You know what That's I mean? That's what like, CRT like teaches, though. It teaches them to people. be horrible You know what I mean? They're, people. like, on their way to being people. And by the time they're in their 20s, they're going to be real people with real opinions, and they they will have actual conviction. And before they get to Not that point, Not this generation, Gen Z, in their 20s, has only been regurgitating what they see and hear on social media and from far-left celebrities and from what they learn in their college class. So, yeah, uh, Gen Z, I guess, is the exception. And so far, disturbingly, the only exception. Kind of what their convictions, like, you know... Not necessarily ought to be, but like kind of like the kind of person that you'd like to be around. And then you raise your kids. And I think maybe it would be best to teach kids not to be racist early. Yeah, early. CRT um, teaches uh, kids to be racist. This isn't any, any time from kids being children. This is just understanding how kids learn stuff. If, if Undoomed had any background at all in how to teach people, uh, he would understand this, but he doesn't. There is a reason that we teach kids in sixth grade and below and above. All sorts of things they don't necessarily have to deal with. Like, do, do kids when they're six years old have anything to do with, like, turtles? No, or dinosaurs? Fuck no. They have literally no business in archaeology or zoology. But guess what? Or or any other or biology, whatever the fuck you got going on. They have nothing. Nothing going on there. They're fucking children. But guess what? We still teach them stuff. Let kids be kids. Well, yeah, because recently people have been imposing that kids learn about Alright, I need to go back a few seconds. Fuck no! They have literally no business in archaeology or zoology. But guess what? Or or any other... You're teaching them to have an imagination. That's what... And that's the purpose of telling kids about dinosaurs and animals. You're giving them an imagination. You're helping them be creative. Oh, it's just animals, though. Whatever the fuck you got going on. They have nothing. Nothing going on there. They're fucking children. But guess what? We still teach them stuff. Let kids be kids. <laughs> well, yeah, they are kids. They're going to continue to be kids long after they learn not to be racist. <laughs> and then eventually... <sighs> that is such cringe. They're kids. They do have to learn morals, yes. And they do have to learn, like, the most simplistic morals. However, they also have to... Like, the whole dinosaur thing. They have to learn to be creative. They have to... 
They're just trying to have fun. That's why they teach them that. Imagine it. Eventually, they'll be a non-racist adults, which is ideal. As kids are never Except this is young. not non-racist. This is anti-racist, which is completely different. Start learning about things like this. True. I guess not. Next up, in V. Intro indoctrination. In in doc if 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 Undoomed had any balls whatsoever, he doesn't. Um, if, At uh, if if Undoomed had any balls whatsoever, he would he would be able to sit They're down and have a conversation with me about something like this, and I would ask him, and I would ask him, do you think teaching someone not to be racist is indoctrination? And then he would have to say. Yes, if you wanted to be consistent about the take he just had here, right? You're changing the argument, because that's not CRT at all. That's not the concept of white privilege. It's not teaching not to be racist. Useless Rebel says, CRT is beyond the understanding of high schoolers and under. <laughs> Has he ever responded to me? Not in any serious way. He's not intellectual. I've talked to him on Twitter. Neither are times. you. About stuff, and he just deflects because he's a little bitch. And that's just how it is. Dude. You just deflected now by saying CRT is non racist. Chuds are fucking cowards, bro. Like, I have a fucking, I have a fucking cream oh, the fourth time corn you said it. Oh, on Chud. my forehead oh, right now. I'm in a mascot suit. I should not be intimidating to you. He pulled us at the debate panel that Hunter Avalon, actual justice warrior, and others did. He said something like, I didn't watch the clip, I just saw that in the YouTube comments people were laughing because he said, Hi, Zaubla. People were laughing because he said something like, uh, I'm in a corn costume. I should not be more cringe than you, or I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know where the corn, why he wears that. Um, and if it's just so, he can say that he's less cringy wearing that. It's just, it, it's, it's cringe, basically. And if you can't even talk to me about this kind of shit with any sort of confidence, should anybody take your fucking, like, like, opinion seriously? Come on. Well, I already t don't take your opinion seriously because you're already changing the argument and changing, saying that it's about non-racism. Come the fuck on, dude. And it's so important to be educated. People think CRT teaches you to be non-racist. It's, it's to look at laws back in the 70s. About topics like white privilege. Oh, yes. I'm sure it comes up all the time at the dinner table at Chuck E. Cheese. No. What? Are your limitations. You are immoral. <laughs> what? Do people go to Chuck E. Cheese still? Is that a thing? Is the dinner table Chuck E. Cheese, by the way? Does he think that people with kids eat at Chuck E. Cheese regularly? Like, that's a thing? Oh, I guess we'll go to Chuck E. Cheese again tonight. Tots. As a guy, he calls him calls his kids tots. He's a weirdo. True. It's time white parents talk. Chuck E. Cheese pizza slaps. You don't fucking lie to me. Don't fucking lie to me. I'll order Chuck E. Cheese pizza just to verify this. That sounds awful. Talk to white kids about race. So you're just gonna single out one race? How very racist of you. What? What do you mean what? She's white. Do you... Doesn't matter if she's white. She's gonna. Do you think this white lady? She's going to go talk to black kids about race? She's a white lady. Why, what, what, what opinion could she have that would illuminate a black kid about race and their experience with it? In fact, this is a really good example of, of, of why you're a dumbass, Undoomed. So Ad a black hominem. kid who's six years old and a white kid who's six years old. 
Which one of them do you think, if if their parents don't interact at all with them on the topic of racism, which one of them do you think is more likely to experience either just any racism at all, not necessarily directed at them? Just which one of you, which which one do you think will experience racism first? It's probably the black kid, right? Well, nowadays, because of things like CRT, I would guess the white kid. I mean, before, I wouldn't have even answered this manipulative question. But now you're saying, oh, black children are more likely to face racism, therefore we implement CRT. Because kid, because people are racist. Yeah, people are. Like, racism is not exclusive to one race, which is what how you're defining it. You can experience racism, whether it's pointed at their parents or their or their peers or whatever. They're going to. Experience... <sighs> so earlier, this guy was saying Undoomed still lived in 2016, and now this guy is living in like 1945. Or he's saying that. Just because you're black, you're more likely to experience racism. And he gives examples like because of their parents or because of them personally, the six-year-old. Experience racism. Now a white kid, especially like when I was growing up, I, I grew up. Childhood or family up. anecdote. Right. Um, and I grew up with a white family. I grew up in the woods, rurally in Michigan. Not a lot of black people out there. And I grew up in a, in a, in a place where very casual racism was a thing, especially from my dad. I already don't uh, believe this. Uh, uh, who I've talked about before. Not a great guy. Um, and I didn't realize until I really got into, like, high school, um, like, that was, like, racist. Like, like what that meant. Because they didn't talk to me about that, right? But if Are I you willing to give specific have, examples? You know, and I have a conversation like, hey, nobody's different than you just because they look different. You know, and luckily I wasn't a racist kid, but I did have racist. You are racist now. Too, like two of them. Um, it wasn't really that bad at my school. To be fair, there wasn't a lot of black kids. But we did have some, um, and uh, uh, I could have definitely benefited from an early conversation about like, like that. Like, like I'm a kid. I'm not gonna understand like the metaphor of the the star bellied sneeches from Dr. Seuss, right? I need an adult to interpret that for me and. And sort of let me know what's going on there. I can't synthesize information like that. I'm a I'm a kid, right? So it takes it takes an active approach to education, which Undoomed is obviously not qualified to talk about. But yet yeah, he persists. But then again, who the hell am I kidding? That's what you people are. To be a child in the world today is to be confronted with the complexities of race. As a child of today, are you saying this is a new thing, or are you saying that things have gotten worse lately? No, no, neither of those things are the, the so, so <laughs> that's a false dichotomy. It's just a false dichotomy. You just gave a false dichotomy earlier. If you're against CRT, you are racist. Not about racism being new. And it's certainly not about it being worse lately. What it is about is that we're all connected in a way that we weren't when we were kids. Like when I was a kid, in, in the 90s, I was not exposed to the same amount of interaction with other people that kids my age nowadays w would be ex exposed to, right? We didn't, have, we didn't have chat rooms until the 2000s, bro. Like, late 90s, early 2000s. I didn't have internet. I had, like, net zero. You know those CDs you put in the disc tray? Like, like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, how can you not contextualize the modern time and the way that we come to each other with the education of somebody else and understanding that a in the information age, in the in the social media boom era, we should probably it would behoove us as a society. I slurred that a little bit. It would behoove us as a, as I can't say it, as a society. Here we go. Um, to to like address the issue before it becomes a problem, right? Like, like. You know, in the in the 70s, in the 60s, kids were faced with, like, the Vietnam War. And, like, the and serial killers were a big thing back then. And there was, there was like, um, um, you know, kids kids were being, like, like stolen. And, uh, I mean, it still happens, but the way the media covered it was a very different experience. When I was a kid in the 90s, 
I saw race riots because of Rodney King. Um, um, uh, very early, I was like five, six years old, probably about the same time this was. And race became a very big thing. Um, um, obviously, uh, uh, the juice. Um, the fuck is his name? OJ Simpson. The juice right now. All right, hang on. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, OJ. Thank you. Why can't I think of fucking OJ, dude? Um, I was there. I watched the fucking coverage of that stupid. Uh, how does how is this related uh, to race? SUV? Like like oh, wait, uh, Bill Clinton no, was a thing, so blowjobs became a topic of conversation. Like like, in just that nineties, I was exposed to a lot of shit that like kids shouldn't be exposed to. But I mean like. Did I get harmed by it? No, I just learned more about the world. And then... You're changing the argument again. This isn't about Rodney King or O.J. Simpson or serial killers. This is something else. This is something that's actually... Well, Rodney King... Uh... Yeah, the topic was changed to racism. Uh, still, though, you mentioned, you said serial killers, though. Vietnam War, though, O.J. Simpson, though, those three things are not... Well, yes, they are political. The thing is... Actually, no, the Vietnam War era is the only thing that was political. And the thing... The reason why it would be told to children is so that they know the concept of potent stress disorder or post-traumatic stress syndrome, whatever it's called. It's Vietnam War, assumably because of PTSD. Serial killers was to teach kids to be very careful so that they don't get kidnapped and to basically have an adult companion uh, wherever they can or every time they hide. O.J. Simpson God, I don't even know how to, I don't know how to interpret that one. I know it's not because of racism, though. Because uh, that's why he's changing the art because he's trying to categorize, not categorize, he's trying to basically associate all those three things and CRT. And that's just, it's just not that simple because CRT, as the actual Jake said, learning about O.J. Simpson didn't harm about race theory and the concept of white privilege will harm students of all races. It's going to harm the white students because they're just going to look themselves and think they're inherently racist that the world is going to be against them because they're racist and harm the blacks. You're basically telling them you're not life. You're not, nothing is going to come to you easily or not easily. Nothing is going to basically come to you ever just because of the color of your skin. And neither of those things are true. And that's the other thing, is that they both have a truth behind them. Or one has a truth behind them, which is critical race theory. Uh, and the other... Uh, no, the Vietnam War, serial killers, and... I don't have a truth to them. Critical race theory is based solely on opinions and interpretation from other people and then obviously 9 11 happened in 2001 so there was a lot of error racism which was interesting because my first big girlfriend uh a few years after because i was like i was like a kid in 2001 uh, a few years after that when I was wait how are you a kid in 2001 and in 1992 
my first major girlfriend uh, was an Arab woman. So I first experience of like the kind of racism pointed at her, specifically family, um, and stuff like that. So like like there's not like a point in life where things are too heavy for you. Again, you're changing the argument. But it's too heavy for them. It's because critical race theory is just something different. You can't just associate that and say that it's similar to everything. Learn them, and if you have a measured approach towards educating your kids, that's a good thing. You have to say, like, like, I don't know, anything specific about racism. If you just instilled the idea that someone is not different because they look different than you and they deserve to be respected. Except the opposite of that. that you teaches that. Your kids, hopefully. You're uh, then, your privilege and then, you're, what's the fucking you're you're be against this? Be, how can you be anti this? I don't understand it. Teach kids what you want to teach them, but preferably to be better people. Which that's he does. To be. Has he never met a six-year-old? Have you that's never met a six-year-old? They ask all sorts of questions. But we still have a long way to go when it comes to this conversation. Oh, I'm sure you think so, but I'm not sure we afford like you make things worse. What's what do you mean make? Worse? I believe I have to stop so much for the. <laughs> God damn it, undoomed! He just says wrong all the time. He just is constantly wrong about now. stuff. It makes this worse. Like, I don't even have to stop because the only thing is not to be racist makes it better for people. Unless, unless you mean it's uncomfortable for racist people. Straw man. Do you think a black person? Okay, okay, this is a good question. Do you think a black person in America is helped or harmed by the popular becoming less racist? Again, you're changing the arguments. Because, see, a critical race theory is only adding fuel to racism. It's only increasing racism. I can't believe I have to ask that fucking question to you, dude. <sighs> you're only saying you can't believe. This is why I say he's pseudo-intellectual, because he's changing the argument. He's trying to make critical race theory sound like this innocent thing that teaches you not to be racist. Which, by the way, if that's all CRT does, why would they be opposed to it? Because a lot of these people have confirmed that they think black people and white people are the same. They're not different uh, just because of their race. So, just admitting to that is already, or it already goes against the idea that critical race theory teaches just that. We've neglected the topic of privilege for too long. Really? Where? Because I'd like to go there. So, I decided to write this book with the hope that white children growing up today will see their privilege and use it. We've only been talking about this for like a couple of years. What do you mean? Like, like really since 2016 is when these, these conversations started to happen, then people like... And just like Satsuchi said, 2016 is when the world began. No, the whole concept of privilege. Didn't Robin D'Angelo write the book White Privilege in 1987? Because I know a lot of college textbooks talked about that throughout the 90s. There was an episode of Saved by the Bell, or Saved by the Bell College years, when Slater finds out he's Mexican, and he basically thinks he's oppressed just because he's Mexican, and that he sees himself differently, and he thinks the world is against him just because he's Mexican. And he thought less of Zach calling him white bread just because he's white. Gun Doom started just fucking whinging. For good. Again, with the white kids. Are we gonna have segregated books now? Let's be the parents that decide not to perpetuate the myth that all children start from the same spot. Was anyone seriously thinking that? No, sir. Never. Talk about tilting at windmills. Nobody believes that every kid starts from the same spot. What a complete straw man. 
I think Undoomed only means economically in this situation, though, right? What's with the movie clips? That's just how he fucking edits. It's really terrible. I think it was a show clip, by the way. I think it was the show Stargate. I, yeah, pretty sure that was the show. Um, <laughs> I, I don't understand. Like, We're talking about social hurdles that people have to overcome because we're talking about racism. We're not talking about economic, like socioeconomic, necessarily. We're talking about specifically socioeconomic. Well, I'm assuming that. But he doesn't give a shit. He's dumb. It's the fact minute. that you people believe that. Uh, take a shot for every time I say ad hominem. That race is the most important factor in determining that spot. Okay, we're leftists. Do, do any of us think race is the number one factor in determining someone's position in life? Under? That's how you act? I mean, prove him wrong. I'd... I'm not saying this facetiously. If he's wrong, then prove to him you're wrong. Because of what you said earlier, or just the fact that you want to implement critical race theory already proves on him correctly. And taking a look at a lot of woke tweets and woke just a lot of things that people say about race that helps his argument that is why people say that you have to constant or that uh left or yeah that left to see race as the most important factor now since all you've done is deflect change the argument and insult I don't think you're going to actually try to run wrong. Because this is my first impression of you, Jake. I don't think you're going to... Oh, and you... Uh... Yeah, you're just a pseudo-intellectually jumping around the question. So I don't think you're even going to try to prove him wrong. You're American, the American system? Because I think we all agree it's definitely economic, right? Like, it's absolutely 100% money, correct? It's classism, not racism that's number one. Racism isn't, is exacer like, exacerbates classism. Dark puppy 11. Like what? Nope, only what, uh, nope, only white conservatives think. Uh, that is, you just proved undo correctly. Why do they have to be white conservatives? Now this is a Twitch chat, so... What? No one's saying that, Undoomed. Literally nobody is saying that race... I mean, unless they're like fucking libs. Maybe libs. But this person isn't a lib. And you're a lib. It's important. It's just an important thing. Nothing has to be like... Nothing has to necessarily supersede anything else to be important. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's like... It's like fucking weird shit. It's, it's so weird to be defensive about that, too. It's just... It's just, there we go, we'll give you another copy there. Uh, it's, it's just strange. It's sus, is what it is. It's pretty sus that you, like, get defensive about that. You know? Sus. Like, it makes me go, like, does this bother you that someone might be less racist? No. That is not the argument. Stop changing the argument. <sighs> Look, he's acting smug, because he's like, oh, yeah, you are definitely uncomfortable because someone is less racist. He's acting so smug even though he changed the argument. I don't know. Maybe you should talk to an actual leftist, coward. I don't think the guy who spent 80% of this so far insulting him should be the one calling him a coward, which is yet another ad hominem is what we oppose. Instead, let's empower our children with the knowledge to build a new space together. But only if they're segregated, apparently. No, that's not. It just said build the space together. It just said that. The I. It could say one thing and mean something else completely different. Hi, my name is Ben. Wait, did you just become out of breath from turning the page? Bro, 
bro. What? Is he like body shaming her? Like... <sighs> you insulted him several times in the past 20 minutes, and you're concerned about body shaming? Like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, WTF, dude. cute. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? Like, what? Oh. Dude, I'm, I'm out of breath from yelling at you already. That's what it oh, is. Oh, you don't even have to yell at him. The only reason you're doing so is to throw an arm at him. Not even that big, dude. Whatever, dude. <laughs> she looks good. And this is my book about white privilege. White privilege? What's that? I think I can sum it up for you. Oh, good. I'm sure this is going to be really reasoned and, and definitely good. <laughs> well, but it's bullshit. It's bullshit mountain, and then it got struck by lightning. Huh. First, I have to explain to you what I mean by white. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's going to end up meaning oppressor. Yeah, how is she gonna define white? I want you to look at the color of your skin. Mm -hmm. What color is it? Ooh, ooh, I know this one. Toilet seat complexion, right? When I look at my arm, it's kind of a pinkish reddish beige, like the color of this beige. So, so just beige then. Okay. I don't know why. I, I, like, I don't, I don't even know why you have. Like, he has to constantly stop. So just beige then. Like, like he has to be. He has to, like, one-up everything somebody else says. It sounds terribly insecure. So, I don't know if anybody knows this about, about people's skin. Um, you might see my skin, and you might see that underneath my skin, there is a reddish undertone to it. This is called an undertone to your skin. Um, there's other people, white people, uh, white passing people, uh, uh, that have a yellow undertone to their white skin. White passing. Uh, a great example of this. Um, is uh, someone like Laura Bailey. Um, the voice actress? Laura Bailey. Um, she is a, a voice actress and a member of Critical Role. But she has she has like a, a sort of a yellowish, yeah, sort of gives that. her a, a very warm um, um, skin tone. And people really like that. And uh, 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 I don't know. It's just, I think her husband, Travis Willingham, has like a pink undertone. Yeah, yeah. Um, for the most part. And so I'm trying to find a picture where you kind of like really see it. When they're in studio lighting, you can really, really tell, um, especially when critical. But anyway, ooh, here you, here you go. Uh, whatever. But uh, uh, <laughs> there's there's just different skin tones on people, man. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine to talk about that, and it's because of our different heritages. And I have no idea. I have no idea why he's bringing this up. No clue. I you love no Critical Role, you'll love Charisma Saves. I also do that. Have a clue. It's, for it's our D&D podcast. Or, well, live play show. But when people talk about what color I am... Laura Bailey. They would say white. Yeah, they would. Yes. But why? Because oh my fuck. pinkish reddish beige is too long. <gasps> it's... Oh, fuck. If white is actually the color of this page and my skin looks different, then what does it mean that I'm white? It doesn't mean anything. It's a label of a physical characteristics. It's, it's really pointless. It's like red hair or brown eyes. That would be the case if we were a post-racism society. So thanks for being a race abolitionist uh, there, my friend. But uh, uh, obviously it means something. So we're just as making he's not racist. We don't want it to, even if we think that it's fucked up, that it should, that it does. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. We would be a post-racist society. It's people like you who want to implement critical race theory that perpetuate racist nonsense, wanting to take a look at people's skin to determine everything about them, looking at people's skin and just knowing their experiences, their social economic statuses, their parent, where they come from, that whole, uh, that whole privilege line or privilege walk, you know, the take a step if you have a single father.
saying the first black something, the first Hispanic something, the first Asian something, the shooting. Um, in back in March, they said, or they only cared about the Asian victims, even though uh, there were eight victims who were killed, six of whom were Asian, and they didn't care about the white victims. We should that it does take any sort of like like I don't know it, that our skin tones carry some social weight at all is the problem and that's like the reason it's being addressed and so you agree right now you agree that basing anything off of skin tone is fucked up that is literally the thesis that is what I'm of man. being anti-racist and critical race theory that is hang on what off of skin tone is fucked up that is rest and so you agree right now you agree that basing anything off of skin tone is fucked up yes it is that is literally the thesis of being anti-racist no it's not because if it was you wouldn't hear stuff like it's not enough to be non-racist you have to be actively anti-racist And critical race theory. That is not literally the thesis. You just made that up. You're trying to make critical race. Because, again, I have to ask. If that's the concept, why do we... Actually, no, yeah, that is the question. That is a legitimate question. If that's the whole concept of critical race theory and anti-racism, why do we need anti-racism and critical race theory if people already know that? If people are already saying that it's messed up to judge people based on their skin. Why did you suddenly give it a new term? Hey, Parody Bear. <laughs> that corn is in sweets. That is literally, you, you agree with the actual idea behind it. The... <sighs> All right, so even if it is the actual idea behind it, even if it is the actual idea behind it, is that how it's being presented by people who support critical race theory? Because there's, there's an entire difference between that being the concept or that being the reasoning behind it, the motivation, and how it's being presented. Because you could be in favor of one thing and completely screw up the interpretation, whether deliberately or not, and give it this whole other new meaning. This is, this is another tactic that he's doing. He's, Making critical race theory sound like this uh, innocent. He makes it. He makes it sound like this innocent concept that needs to be implemented in society, and he, whether he knows this or not, people who are proponents of critical race theory and anti-racism, that is not what they're proposing and that is not what they're arguing and so i guess he's taking a look at those people and saying oh well that doesn't matter because the whole concept behind it is is uh judging people by their skin is messed up so he's going along the original motivation to justify why it should be implemented that's just that's not how it works goal any any form of racism is bad <laughs> we agree basing someone's social uh, uh status on their skin tone is icky yes you don't disagree with this sure if you're in the car yeah undoomed undoomed doesn't believe that you should judge people based on their race He can be open. He can be. That is why he's against critical race theory and anti-racism. 
Cosmetics industry, you might be interested in these statistics, but for the rest of us, it's meaningless. Well, and le the rest of us white people, it's fucking meaningless. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm getting here <laughs> making everything. Do you think obvious. someone with darker skin than mine can just be like, yeah, skin color is meaningless? It's never affected me and never will. Actually, that has happened. Look at your boy Pat. <sighs> Again, he's being disingenuous and dishonest. This is what he's doing. This is also contradictory to what he said earlier. Because he said, oh, we're leftists. We don't think race is the number one most important factor. Yet he is saying that every single person who is darker than him experienced racism. He's saying that nobody would, yeah, nobody darker than him would say race hasn't affected them. Even though a lot of, yeah, people who have dark skin have admitted that race hasn't affected them personally in America. They also, a, a few of them would also say that while it didn't affect them, it's also affecting white people. Because now they're being judged and saying that they're privileged, therefore they shouldn't. Therefore... No, therefore they should be taught that they're bad people because of their skin color. And that's actually the other thing is that white people are taught that they're bad people for what their ancestors did or for things like slavery and segregation. Even though a lot of the even though a lot of those people wouldn't even be directly related anyway. Not that it matters whether they are or not. No! That's the point! The point is that it should be meaningless, but it isn't! Because of people like you who say that everyone who's darker than them experienced racism. Every single person. <laughs> and we want it to be meaningless! And the only way to make no, it you don't. meaningless is to address the problem and illuminate people on the problem and be like, hey! This is why it's harmful. This is J. Is that Jalen? Jalen Jean says, try calling POC people of the global majority and see how this guy gets. Uh, that's the other thing. A lot of people say that white people are the minority of the world. What a better life would be like. Wrong. If we just stopped giving a shit about this, it wouldn't be a big deal. What's the name highlighted in blue? It's happy. green, like, a like and 13, unless they have dark skin. Addressing a problem does not exacerbate the problem necessarily, or even often. Except that's not what CRT addresses. That's not what critical race theory addresses. It just means you're opening communication. To try to... <sighs> when companies, corporations, celebrities, TV shows, ads, and all everything else that's pretty much given a voice and a platform, when all of those things, whenever they open up about it, you said that this was prominent since 2016, so at least five years, according to you, which uh, it's actually been longer than five years, except the world, according to you, started in 2016, have been basically opening the door to racism. That is not an excuse, or that is not... That's not an argument, basically. How many people have to talk about it for you to not say it's just to open a discussion? It has already been proven, I think, by Scribe or Ranting Monkey that that's not an argument. Fix the problem. It's just like having a relationship in general. Like if you and your significant other or others are Heck not you. communicating to one another, at a, at a certain point, that relationship is going to break down. And there's going to be animosity. There's going to be, uh, 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 you know, just, just, just general anger and disdain. Um, and you don't, and you don't want someone, you know, to feel negatively in general, right? Like, especially if you're in a relationship now, just consider your society at large. If we don't open up communication about certain problems, and the black community is saying, it has been saying since they were forced to be here, hey, this is fucked up, this is a fucked up situation, and it gets better, of course, 
the bar was pretty low since it started at chattel slavery undoomed channel so slavery. forgive us if if we're not quite on even ground yet though we'd like to be you know what i mean like why are you so fucking every conservative every, every conservative chud, chud they're just terrified of having this conversation and do you know why they're fucking terrified of having this conversation i'll tell you no i'll, I'll tell you because i already know what you're doing now based on what you've done in this live stream for the past half hour and from what I've seen on social media, it's because what you, they, everyone else on social media, woke Twitter, people who have like large platform, they, they're doing what you're doing just now. And I know this isn't the answer you want to hear, and it's definitely not the one you're going to give. You are shifting the goalpost. You are changing the argument, deflecting. And throwing insults. Oh, and you also said that every single... You also said everyone whose skin is darker than you is affected by racism. Now, what's the answer you're going to give? Uh. But Jake, who's got you, baby bird? Uh, the reason that they're terrified of having this conversation is because they're guilty of some of the things that are shitty. And understanding... <sighs> He called every single conservative racist. That is seriously what he said. I'll tell you. Conservative. Every chud. Uh, the reason that they're terrified of having this conversation is because they're guilty of some of the things that are shitty. And understanding that you're guilty of some of the shitty things means you have to admit that once you agree to a definition of racism, you have to agree that you have been racist at points in time. That's because black light. Oh my God. He... Black Lives Matter is shifting the goalpost on racism. They're saying that racism is prejudice plus power. And so they're saying that in order to be racist, you have to be in a position of power, basically. And that they're saying that black people can't be racist for that definition. Even though a lot of people, or a lot of black people have been in positions of power. Racism has also, you illustrated the concept earlier in this uh, stream where a six-year-old white boy would not experience racism and that a six-year-old black kid would be more likely to experience racism just because they're black. Uh, this whole video is an hour and 40 minutes, so I'm not going to go through all of that. I mean, that's why I asked uh, what Scribe does. Or how long it took him to get through a two-hour uh, discussion panel. Uh, I actually did want to end this at that hour mark. It's just... I, I think what I'm going to do for now is probably go up until the half-hour point, which I'm almost there. And maybe go like a minute or two after that. Uh, I don't know. Because I already see that this video has uh, highlighted several projections uh, at one time, so I don't even know. Hi, Zalbla. Zalbla says, I'm not terrified of any conversation, I just don't care. Oh, I think he did it on the third stream. Yeah. Because I know that Scribe also, uh, he also takes 10 minutes, I think, for questions and comments, and I don't even know how long those streams are. Yeah, his Sunday streams, just like his Thursday, th Thursday streams don't have a set time, because since he knew that uh, discussion panel was going to be so long, uh, the one about the 2010 race panel, that one took four streams, and... I can't remember if all of them were two hours. I don't know. I mean, I don't have a lot of viewers, so I'm certainly not going to take questions or comments. Uh, Western critical obsession. Let's find a way to dismantle ideas in a way that leads to nothing productive seem like an ally to uh, pathetic psychosis, which provide no actual <laughs> topical logic. 
Also, you're fine, Keith. I can assure you. I can assure you, you're fine. Maybe not all the time. Maybe just sometimes, dude. I guarantee you. Well, not all the time. Just sometimes. You're still admitting. You're still admitting that the side that you don't agree with is racist or is guilty of racism. That I have said insensitive things based on other people's race on accident. I never meant to hurt anybody's feelings. You just did it now, and you did it on purpose just to perpetuate the notion that racism is as bad now. Well, he didn't say this exactly. That racism is as bad now as it was in the 40s or 30s. Because... Uh, It would be, I think it's fair to say that it would be racist to say that a black kid is more likely to experience racism. Feelings, but I guarantee you just based on my, the way I grew up, I grew up with a relatively racist dad in a totally white town with very few black people, not a single person of Asian descent and a few people of Mexican descent, or, or I guess I thought they were Mexican. I don't even know, but like, like Hispanic maybe, but probably Mexican just based on the demographics around my area. But I guarantee you I've said insensitive things. Guarantee it. Now I've never called anyone the N word before. My dad fucking has though. And so, you know, what's funny is that, um, I wonder how many of Jake's fans hated Trump because his father was allegedly in the KKK. Because I know that that was a criticism of Trump, that his father was in the KKK and they tried to like associate him and his father just to perpetuate the notion that Trump is racist. Story about this once he he uh, uh, called basketball my favorite sport uh, now and when I was a kid I was super pumped I made the basketball team and uh, he called the sport an N word sport and really took the wind out of myself and I was really fucked. I don't believe this happened. <laughs> I mean he's already given three childhood anecdotes. This is the third. In math, um, and I remember that disappointment in my dad at that point, and, and kind of like that's a big. That's a big moment for me in understanding just kind of the type of guy he was. Um, so that's the kind of space I grew up in. Like, and that was very casual. Imagine if I had like an actively racist person, like, and that wasn't just like a few flashball moments where I remember him being racist, right? Because it wasn't daily. It was just like sometimes he would say something really shitty, like probably like you a just handful said. of times in my life, um, and then he would act a certain way sometimes as well. But. Uh, how do you, I just don't understand. Like, how do you, how do you not admit just openly, like, yeah, I was, you know, I'm only a product of situation. And if you had any sort of racism, product past, of my situation, like, like growing up, like, of course, you're going to carry some of that into adulthood. All it is is about addressing it and making sure that, that people that don't look like me can be comfortable around me after I address you know, any issues I had growing up. Because, you know, I'm only a kid. It's not your fault, necessarily. Like, racism necessarily. is it's not just felt, right? And you're not necessarily a bad person for being taught necessarily, to be racist, right? Even if it's mild racism, you're not, or, or even hardcore racism. You're, you're not, you're a victim of your situation, but you have to be brave enough to understand that that's not a good thing and to be like, yeah, I'm going to make a change. But Chuds fucking aren't. They're fucking... They're that's pussies, like the fifth time you said shut. That's just the way it is. Nundoom's another fucking one. Ad hominem. That's like the sixth time I said ad hominem. Uh... <laughs> Hang on, wait. Uh... Oh! Well, I partly grew up in the hood and went to a largely black elementary school from first to fifth grade, so white privilege, my A word. <laughs> You're also, uh stared at at the Ruby Bridges movie queue. Don't tell that to Jake, though, because he'll try to find a way to jump around the situation and try to make it seem like that's a good thing or whatever. I never heard that. What, the N-word ball? Or N-word sport? This reminds me I need to eat my corn from Saturday night. 
Uh, I heard it called N word ball before. Um, I mean, I'm not saying people don't call it that or haven't called it that. I'm just willing to believe it came from his father. I mean, I can, I can believe that his father was racist. I'm just wondering how far he's going to take advantage of that to make himself seem like the better person or to say that or, or to tangentially say that that's why critical race theory needs to be taught or something like that. Sweet corn. Chink. Chink, right? What's that referring to? Uh, I get my corn from the Amish, uh, and I husk it and cook it. <laughs> At that, you were, you also went to a middle school that was in the hood. I never heard the term said it was not. Well, I keep hearing it from liberals. Uh, they mention it all the time. Not all the time, just, uh, I don't know. Middle school was less black. Grown-ups a long time ago decided to create labels for people. These labels were determined by skin color. So you understand that it's an arbitrary label and you still want to perpetuate it. What the fuck's wrong with you? You can't judge people by what they think <laughs> or say. <laughs> Only by what they do. Saying Ow. is doing stuff, for the record. You can judge people for what they say. That is an action. I disagree, Star Trek. I disagree. You can judge someone for what they say. Oh, There's Star a long Trek and complicated clip. reason for this, but we don't have time to get into it. How extremely convenient for you. Some of these labels were white, black, brown, etc. Yes, etc. of course, being the most common word in use by six-year-olds. Okay. Now we need to talk about the other word. Privilege. Oh, privilege. Looking forward to seeing you fu- He just cuts her off all the time. Look up the definition so of that. So much. Privilege. Is that what you just did? This when someone has an advantage that they haven't earned. Mm. What? Wrong. What, you, what? You just cut him off again even though you complain about that. Fuck. Wait, why is he so mad? R mad? He seems calm from his tone. It's you who seems mad. You've been calling him, you've been throwing like seven insults already. At the very least, oh god, I haven't even kept track. I should have though. <laughs> um, you called him a chud, you called him a boomer, you called him the P word. Yeah, uh, I'd say a good 60% to 75% of this was ad hominems. How many times have you heard me say ad hominem throughout the stream? Uh, when the stream is over, you could uh, open transcript, control F, ad hominem, and see how often that comes up. You say I'm doomed, mad? Uh, Dinah Laurel says, it's for the children, Slender Man, looking at this. What's that name? It's in royal blue. Oh, I can't see something. Ferret. Does he only use? Does he only use sci-fi show clips? That is not an argument. How's that wrong? Give me a de give me the different definition. Uh, royal Roy three thousand on Twitch. Oh, racist Slenderman. <sighs> that is a classic liberal tactic, by the way. Just call them racist, and you win. The word privilege places no judgment on whether it was earned or not. Uh, what? Uh, what? No, no, I'm pretty sure it does. Privilege is an inherent sort of thing. Royal Ray 3000, right there. Oh god, racist Slenderman again. <laughs> His chat is open. He wants to give her a full history of racism and draws a line at etc. Q Z X L Y T <laughs> um, is doing what actual Jake just accused and undoomed of doing, which is just trying to one up people. Right? Like, like. I think I only only in in economic privilege would I agree with that. 
most of the time when someone talks about privilege, specifically white privilege here, which was the topic, not just like kind of not that. <laughs> um, um, Huh? Oh, dear Christ. All right. You know what? I'm just going to... I'll take a look at chat. All right. Uh, this guy is saying right a lot. <laughs> he is. Uh, also, your cousin told you that the street that was six blocks away from where your father lived was probably the most dangerous street in the in town in the 80s and 90s. A lot of murders. Uh, notice the hypocrisy in what uh, parody bear... This guy or his chat? <laughs> his, this guy is so corny. What's the P word? Yes, that is the P word, Keith. Corn. Not letting undo finish again so quick to do. Oh, yeah. Yes, my white privilege has gotten me so far, quote unquote. Oh. Like, like you, you, you have a little bit of privilege. I think the word privilege really fucks up chuds because they're dum dums and are unwilling to at hominem. We ask and just listen for a second because they're so willing. Like, like I mean, undoomed is just constantly talking, right? Um, and I know it's his content, but like it's every sentence, right? You can't just like take some time with something, but which means that I have to fucking do it all the time, which is just exhausting. Uh huh. Well, no, you don't have to, and the only reason you do is so that you could deflect and insult him. Privilege is a little bit of a of a bad marketing as far as like what it actually means, um, because privilege to chuds implies some sort of like I don't know bonus, when really what it does mean is just that other people don't necessarily have as many advantages, just inherent advantages. Wormy, thanks so much for the two gifted subbies, man. Uh, give one to Luna in photos. I appreciate you, dude. Um, it's freaking annoying. How often he keeps... Yeah, he's terrible. Shut um, privilege is a, is is a broader concept, and it's more of a social social concept than this. It's um, like I didn't earn being white. No one earns that. I didn't earn, uh, you know, um, like I have the privilege of not being terribly neurodivergent. Um, and to quote Scribelite. I have not getting hit by a bus privilege. <laughs> then don't do it. Chud's so unaware. I don't think I have many. Di I don't have any diagnosed, um, like uh, neurodivergent. Oh, this dude uh, is so chud. He needs a corn hat to seem interesting. Yeah, that is that is his persona. Unlocked by stuff. And as I mentioned earlier, he. Uh, in a debate panel, he said something like, I'm wearing the corn suit, and you guys are more cringy than me. So, yeah, I guess he uses uh, his corn persona uh, for that reason. That's a reason he does it, I guess. I don't know. L like, like, uh, that's a privilege. <laughs> I have never getting a merger privilege. I have the privilege of... A chat in the dud. Uh, 
Um, I'm naturally sort of well spoken. Uh, I am not I getting hit by a bus privilege. This is my job. I've always been kind of funny. Like these are all privileges. These are not like big time privileges. But the biggest one is probably right now uh, a white guy, a cis guy, a straight guy. So I'm all those. Um, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I'm one. I'm the one that exists uh, in this in this community. Um, and also, straight cis uh, white uh, male. Probably you at this point, are this is not always the, the case, absolute but, oppressor. Um, you know, I, I I am I'm relatively comfortable monetarily right now. Like right in this moment, I have not that privilege. Uh, this has not been the case for like a decade. I was pretty fucking poor. Like from basically. seventeen to twenty-seven, roughly. I was basically just really poor, and I was. Rough I'm surprised he admitted that. Given how often he, because uh, he said that, or just the fact that he had to explain what privilege was to chuds, or that he had to use the word chud, someone said privilege, I'm surprised uh, he admitted that he was poor at one point in his life. I was pretty much still poor until two years ago, for the most part. I was still paycheck to paycheck, I was just... I could afford more bills. Um, so he's from Bible Reload. How much did Bible Reloader earn in revenue when we're doing contents? Oops, wrong. No. Although I live quite under my means at this point. But, uh, I don't, like, like, and you could say that that's earned, but... I mean, there's lots of circumstances within that that, like, I got lucky, right? Like, I, it's, yes, there's some skill involved, but you got to get some luck in there, too. It's all sort of a crapshoot, and it's, some fucking sucks, man. And I don't know. I, it really bothers me that he's so negative oh, all the time about this shit. Oh, he's one of those like, people, capitalism sucks. Are you seriously incapable of having this conversation without getting incredibly insecure? Well, obviously, I'm to insult an people. advantage given to a group or a person. I mean, look at it earned or not it's simply a special right advantage or immunity granted or available don't get so to close to the mic person. i'm wearing headphones yeah yep <gasps> it's a similar advantage benefit birthright Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe read a little bit. Why show this? It just disagrees with you. You're right or an advantage. Why admit being poor between 17 to 24? It basically disagrees with you. It's given to a group or a person. I didn't know this made the just sound. That's a person. Just it could sound. mean the privilege of owning a home. Yep, I do. And you certainly don't get a home without earning it. <sighs> That's not necessarily true, but whatever. Or it can mean the privilege of driving, and you don't get to do that without getting your driver's license. In other words, you've earned the right to drive. These are not these are not the same types of privileges that we're talking about, bro. <sighs> He's trying to prove a point, though. Because, like Scribly said, I have not getting hit by a bus privilege, and he obviously uses that because, uh, like... <sighs> How often the word privilege is thrown, I think. I don't know. I don't want to take scribe out of context. Let's continue reading chat. Uh, this that corn is akin to like Asian KKK. I'm pretty sure he's in the East Asian KKK. Many black people have your experience too, being raised poor, then becoming uh, financially stable. Yeah, uh, he is and could be in the same position as black people. Like, like, there are lucky black people, too. Luck is not privilege, I agree. Some poor people stay poor, like my mom's siblings. <laughs> I'll assume that this was because of the mic. Some white people stay... Oh, you already said that. Or I already read that, or something. This guy sucks hard. <laughs> Luck is random and happenstance. Oh yeah, it's already midnight. Brow. Regressives can't words. They only make... Uh, yeah, they can only make up new and terrible meanings for things they don't understand. So... I'm already looking at how long I streamed. It's almost been an hour... Uh, yeah, an hour and a half. This is longer than I usually streamed. 
Oh, I shouldn't have highlighted your comment then. Sorry, Keep. So this is... Oh, now I see. Um, so this is... I'm already going live longer than I usually do. So I think now is a good uh, stopping point, especially since they got to the word privilege. I just need to take a mental note of myself that this video, or that I'm in the 36 minute, 51 second mark of this video. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in the chat so that I have a reminder. Yeah, <laughs> initially that is. Boy, <laughs> I love when you do that. No, I will go for an hour and a half. I just, I'm just saying that I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, so, what we learned so far is that actual Jake. God, I actually should have taken notes for what we learned so far. Is that actual Jake spends more time insulting than actually arguing against what Undo Undoomed says. He thinks people that disagree with him are inherently racist. Or at least that's what uh, his comment, or judging by his comment, saying every single conservative and every single chud, which is basically just another word for a conservative for him, gets extremely defensive to racism because they're guilty of it. So yeah, that tells me that he thinks conservatives are guilty of racism. We also learned that he had a racist father, and that Jake himself was poor between the ages of 17 to 24, which he probably blamed on capitalism. And we also learned that he is... Thanks, Pretty Bear. <laughs> yes, he did help. Um, we also learned that he thinks... of black people are more likely to experience racism because he said that a six-year-old is more likely to experience racism than uh, or a black kid is more likely to experience racism than a white kid whether it's from their parents or whether it's because of their parents experiences or their own Oh, and we also learned that actual Jake is the embodiment of what he hates, a uh, straight white male, or straight cis white male. <sighs> so yeah, now would be a good stopping point. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to say I wish I could get undoomed here. Uh... It would be nice, though, because <laughs> I know that he's been on the corner. He's been on Lords of the Night a few times, Monkey in the Morning a few times. Yeah, I... Because uh, according to Jake, they had a few encounters before, so I would assume that Undoomed knows who actual Jake is. Um, <laughs> 60, my intersectionality. Oh, if they can do what? Get Undoomed on? Undoomed us cool. Cool is. <laughs> oh, so I want to spend uh, the last minute, because I'm almost at 90 minutes. Uh, I want to spend the last minute. So I noticed that this stream finally got people in chat. It finally, I guess, notified other people. Yes, have Undoomed on. Undoomed on uh, confirms keep. Uh, so my my other streams in the past, yeah, in the past week and a half, weren't able to generate that many views because I got three views in total, and nobody watched it after it was already done because it still says three views in total. And in this stream alone, I already had more people than the amount who allegedly watched that. Um, you donated 50, Keeve? Did you mean to? You really didn't... 
<laughs> How did he react? What's that emoji for, Parody Bear? 90 minutes. Uh, yeah, so that really bothered me. Um, that people weren't watching my stuff. Because I already said in the beginning of the stream, I'm not going to give up because of it. I'm just curious as to what YouTube's doing or did I, am I going against the algorithm in some way? Did I break a rule and get shadow banned? Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. It was intentional. He was pleased and people in chat were impressed. Uh, oh, you were just listening. So I don't know what's going on. Susan or one of your bots who's watching this, please tell me what I did to not generate the amount of views I usually would. Actually, now that people are in this uh, chat, I should probably shill my recent stuff by posting it in chat. Actually, that I didn't even know why I said that. So, yeah. Scry why did I just say, oh, because I'm reading Scryla and a dose of Buckley. Buckley attacked cancel culture again the sixth time on his channel in uh, the link that I just posted very briefly because yeah that was at the beginning of his video it wasn't too political actually yeah that was the only political thing it was just annoying that he keeps denying cancel culture and in the olympics uh him talking about the olympics is him yeah there were two points where he got political because he talked about uh the trans athlete losing and simone biles susan has an anti <laughs> Uh, I'm the reverse Susan. <laughs> uh, hit that like button if you haven't already and share our stuff, or my stuff. Is that what you're telling me I should do? Or is that what you were quoting someone? I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's already been an hour and a half. It's been 92 minutes. Thank you so much for watching this time. <laughs> uh, and I guess I should thank Susan and her bots too for... I guess, I don't know if people got notified or anything. I'm just glad that people are watching. So... Take care, everyone. I will see you whenever the next stream is. Bye.